Okay, here we go again. Um, this is a 6x8 canvas, stretched. Uh, I've covered the whole back of it. Um, this is spray paint. It's uh, blue over white, uh, kind of. It made it kind of look cloudy. <clears throat> this is going to be a butterfly, I hope. It's been a really long time since I've tried a butterfly. I have my chains ready. I have all my paint over here ready. So here we go. I'm going to make the outline with um, a dark plum, I believe this is. So I've got a little sketch of kind of what I want on this half. So I'm going to test the drop because this can't take much or I'll have a big mess. If it ain't sharp enough, put it in the pencil sharpener. <laughs> Something probably not too many people have anymore. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is a uh, six by eight canvas. I spray painted uh, white and then uh, fogged it in with yellow. And I have uh, put, uh, drew a little butterfly on it, very lightly in pencil. And now I'm going to, I took uh, one of these pointers you can buy at Walmart whatever they're called and uh, rounded off the end a little bit and tested it to see and I'm going to put my glasses on <laughs> and just go
Okay, I think I'm through screwing with this one. <laughs> For some reason, my eyes are a little blurry. My good eye, my left eye's uh, got a cataract in it that uh, is just about getting there to where I need to get it fixed. So, but my right eye. I had done 15 years ago and it's uh, starting to get out of focus again. Not from the cataract, just <laughs> from being old. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone. And this will probably get epoxied also. I think all three of them will get epoxied. So, thanks for watching. Bye. See you on the next one. Okay, here we go. Six by eight canvases, three butterflies. Um, it turns out the surface area is one square foot plus the sides. So I've got five ounces because uh, according to the chart, it's uh, four ounces per square foot of um Chromarine epoxy, which has changed her name to something, and uh, it's a 50 50 mix. And here we go. and was able to get it taken care of and uh, a couple I've actually had to re-epoxy and you can't re-epoxy a spot I found out you have to re-epoxy the whole thing and if it if you have something that takes uh, four ounces to cover it up you just uh, on your original coating you just use half of that amount and to cover it again but you have to scuff it up with a scuff pad or uh, uh, something like say 2000 uh, grit wet dry sandpaper automotive type stuff and then you uh, then you can epoxy over it after you wipe it down with uh, alcohol so that you got all the dust and fingerprints and hand oil and all that stuff off. Spraying it with alcohol, gets rid of the bubbles. As far as I can tell, as good or better than uh, the torch. Um, so, there we go. That didn't take long. Everything looks good at the moment. I don't appear to have any bubbles that I can see, but I'm gonna torch it anyway, just for all purists out there that uh, aren't buying my alcohol <laughs> theory. But actually, uh, the Hobby Lobby epoxy that I used in the beginning and Pro Marine both clean up and uh, is by rubbing one of their ways of cleaning up is by uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, and I believe it was Hobby Lobby that said as far as uh, something wrong or, or somebody did anyway is if you're not uh, comfortable using a torch you know afraid you're gonna set your place on fire then uh, you can use 
spray it with alcohol. Very, very fine spray. No, I don't particularly have a super fine spray bottle. But it is fine enough and works for the most part. I guess there are bubbles in this that you can't see that come up to the top. And then when they do that, you can see them. just had a bunch of bubbles pop up where there weren't any bubbles before.